Welcome to this video. If you are having videos on your website, you probably know that it can slow the website down significantly. Luckily, there are plugins that can help us to achieve great website speed results. I tried several free plugins for video lazy loading and today I will show you the best free option that I tested and that I use on some of my websites as well. This plugin is called WP YouTube Lite and I will show you exactly what are the best settings that I used to increase website speed with this plugin. We will install it in the same way as we would install any other plugin. So we will go to plugins, add new and then we will simply search for it. So WP YouTube Lite and once we have it, we will simply click on install now. And once it's done, we will activate the plugin. So now activate. Now we need to wait for a moment. And once the plugin is activated, we will go to settings and then we will find WP YouTube Lite. So we are in the settings and we can see that the first setting says your YouTube API key. We will do this step as the last one because this is the only step that can be a little bit tricky but the rest of the setting is very easy. So player size, I select this one, the large one. This is sufficient for my website. Now add links below the embedded videos, I select don't add any links. If we would select this one, add YouTube link, we would have a small YouTube link below each of the videos on our website that would point directly to the actual video on YouTube. Now player position, I select center, then try to force HD, select no HD, then add microdata, I select uh, no microdata, thanks, then also act on normal YouTube links and iframes, select yes. Then cache thumbnails locally, select yes. And this is pretty much it. You can have some, um, some text below each video, but I don't use it. Now we will just save these settings and we will now do the last step, which will be getting your YouTube API. So to get YouTube API key, we just need to click on this link, uh, register your site as a new application. You need to be logged in with your Google account. And here we will click on create project. So we will do it and we need to select the project name. This is just for you. So we will add any project name location, no organization, that's fine. And we will create a new project. So we will click on create. Now it will take a few seconds till the new project is created. And we can see it right here. Now we need to go here on top to navigation menu click on APIs and services and go to library. Now we need to select YouTube data API version free. We click on it and now we click on enable. It will again take a few moments, so let's wait. So once it's loaded, we need to click here, create credentials. Now you need to select here, which API are you using? We will select YouTube data API version free. And here, where will you be calling the API from? We will select a web browser and now we click on this button right here. Oh yes, we need to select public data and click here. 
and here is the API key so you will simply copy this go back to the plugin settings and you will place your newly created API key here and then click on test key and once it's successfully tested you will just click on save changes so this is it this was the plugin overview together with settings now go take some page with uh, your videos and try to test its speed i'm sure that you will see a great results now if you like this video please let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know if this plugin helped you and what kind of speed you were seeing before and also after and if the video really helped you please give thumbs up thank you for attention see you next time.